Well, good morning everyone. It's just a short video on how uh, pin cylinder locks work. Um, the origin of the pin cylinder lock dates back to the ancient Egyptians. Uh, but the pin cylinders we know today were developed by Mr Yale and his son. They were so successful that pin cylinder locks are now commonly known as Yale locks. So how did he work? There's three main parts to a pin cylinder lock. There's the out of shell, there's the core, and then inside, inside the core and the shell, is chambers which contain a set of pins. These pins are normally fitted in twos, and as you can see at the bottom, or at the top, depending on what type of lock it is, there's actually springs which make the pins, pins spring loaded. What happens is the, the pins are in here with the spring, it pushes up um, another pin into the core, so effectively blocking the core from turning. The core is actually where we insert the key. So what happens is, when we actually put the correct key into the lock, it pushes all the pins down to the correct level, to a level that we call a cross a shear line, which essentially allows the, the lock to turn and work. So this is why if an incorrect pin is fitted, then it doesn't push the pins down to the correct level, to what we call the shear line here, which forms a gap between the plug and the shell. So it will not turn the lock. So when keys are cut, obviously um, if you've got the correct key, then the correct key blank is, put, is, is, is actually cut. And you can see where the, the little valleys are. They're the bits that actually push the pins down to the correct level. Um, like I say, correct key fitted, it'll work. In, incorrect key cut, it won't work. Thank you.